One of the first things college students do after they graduate is look for a job. But during the pandemic, that's understandably gotten a little tougher for many fields. News 19's Lindsay Ford spoke with a UW Lacrosse academic advisor who tells us when we might see a turnaround. We've seen that COVID has hit industries, some industries harder than others, and it actually has boosted some other industries because of because of the result of COVID and, and the needs for this time period. So it's a little bit of a mixed bag for our students. Academic advisors say bachelor degrees will always be worth it and something employers will look out for. But during these times, hiring is down. For bachelor's degree candidates, hiring will probably be down about 1% compared to last year. From 2015 through 2019, really the bachelor's market employment was on a tear. It was really going well. There's a little bit of pullback now. And in fact, you know, probably about half of the employers that were surveyed for this survey are saying that it's going to take about two or three years to get us back to the point where we were in 2018-19 in that particular recruitment year. UW Lacrosse Chancellor Joe Gao says the 700 graduates this year will earn their diplomas and certifications virtually, a couch commencement on December 20th. And I really have to commend our students for their resilience during this semester. Um, there was some shifts that took place, but people really hung in there. Academic advisors encourage students who have any questions to schedule an appointment with their advisor. You know, we, we'll talk with students about that flexibility and adaptability and the open-mindedness and that the, the, the jobs that they're looking for might not be exactly what they thought that they would be um, looking for or getting when they first entered um, college. But there's many, many different ways to get to a, a career path. And uh, these, these are just, this is just one of those times. In La Crosse, Lindsay Ford, WXOW News 19. Now, while 10 of the 13 universities in the system waived online application fees, UWL is among three that did not. Now, the fee did increase from or decrease rather from $50 to $25. And if people still have a financial hardship, that $25 can be waived. But Chancellor Gao says the fee is in place to help pay the professionals who read and evaluate the college applications.